Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be telling you my TBR for the Vampathon, which is a week-long spooky themed readathon, which takes place during the week leading up to Halloween, and it is hosted by Books with Bambina, Madame Spooky, Mika, Mayona, and Jody from Vanilla Moon. And I think this is like the second year that they've done it now. And I randomly saw it on Instagram and I saw how like easy and kind of casual it was. And I also discovered that I somehow have like a week off of work next week. So I've decided to join in for the readathon. So basically how this readathon works is that there is a bingo board and it's really casual. Like you can either try and get a bingo, you can just try and fill as many squares as you can. And I'm going to try and do a bingo and I'm doing a couple of prompts. And if I get to more books, then that's a bonus. If not, that's okay. I do really hope that one particular book arrives in time for next week but we'll see if that actually arrives on time. So for two of the prompts I am going to be reading the same book because I couldn't really think of a book for the first prompt but this is likely to change depending on my mood and the prompts that this book will cover is a book to sink your teeth into and a book set in a school and for that one I'm going with Bunny by Mona Awad. This was on my October TBR anyway. This is set in a university and is about a like a clique or something or like a cohort. They all call each other Bunny and Apparently it's like a satire sort of horror book as well and I've heard it's really really weird like weird dark academia vibes which I'm very very keen for and a lot of other books that people have called weird that some people either love or hate I have actually really loved so I'm hoping I really like this one and I yeah I think I'm gonna love it so fingers crossed that I can get through this one because it's on my TBR anyway. The next prompt is to read a spooky graphic novel or manga and for that one I'm going to go with Tommy by Junji Ito. I have yet to read this. It is the biggest like Junji Ito book I have. I think Uzumaki is technically bigger but I don't have that one yet but I've been really meaning to read this. All I know about this is that Tommy is an assassin I believe but honestly I'm kind of okay with not knowing much more than that. Honestly some of his work has really creeped me out and I'm just really excited to finally read Tommy. I think it's just gonna be a really really good time and I thought I'd add it as well because I am a slower reader so I think adding a manga to this TBR is gonna help me out a little bit and break things up. The next prompt is to read a thriller or a murder mystery and I've got a couple of options for this. I'm not too sure which one I want to read more but I think I am just going to see how I feel. So the first option I have is Lemon by Kwon Yeo Sun and this is a really really tiny book. This is a murder mystery about a girl who died in like 2002. 17 years later it is still a cold case. It has been unsolved and her big sister has been unable to move on and she decides to try and resolve the case herself and figure out what's happened and yeah I am so intrigued by this I am so intrigued by the, like the cover alone I think it's going to be really interesting so that is my first option my second option is Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn I know this is like a really really old thriller it was like big on booktube like five years ago and I was actually going to unhaul this and then I was going through my books and I decided not to I decided to give this a chance and I've kind of like had renewed interest in this so I don't actually know really what this is about I know it is like a thriller mystery I think it's like a family tragedy sort of book but I've heard really, really good things about Gillian Flynn's work and I think if there's going to be a time for me to read this this week 
might be a good time. After that, as you would have seen on the bingo board, was the prompt for a book set in a school, which obviously I went with Bunny, so I won't talk about that one again. And then the final prompt for my bingo line is a book with witchy vibes, and for that one I'm going to go with The Manning Tree Witches by A.K. Blegmore. This is set in England in the 1600s in the town of Manning Tree. In this book, a child ends up going missing, and it's set during the witch trials and it explores covens and overall obviously has a lot of witchy vibes because it's set during the witch trials so I am really really intrigued by this I also love the cover like I think this is one of my favorite covers ever I just love it a lot and I think it's gonna be really interesting I haven't seen anyone talk about this at all but I decided to pick it up a little while ago and I'm hoping I enjoy it. So another book that I really want to read, it isn't in my bingo line, but it basically fulfills a few prompts, but the main prompt it fulfills is a supernatural romance and that is Kingdom of the Cursed by Carrie Maniscalco, but I do not have that physically with me because I've ordered it and it hasn't arrived yet, but I need to read it because I loved the first book. I recently read it a few months ago or a few weeks ago i'll leave the vlog for that up here anyway but i had so much fun reading that i knew i immediately needed to get the sequel that just came out recently and so if that arrives i'm going to be reading that and try and fit that into my reading somewhere as well so that is my vampathon tbr i think i have a pretty good chance of getting through these to be honest because a lot of them are short there's obviously a manga in here and I have the entire week off from work so I have so much time to read. I am very excited to see what happens. I will be vlogging it. I won't be doing a daily reading vlog or anything for it but I'll have the weekly reading vlog up at the end and yeah I hope you really enjoy and thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know down in the comments below whether you're joining in, or whether you're now thinking about joining in or whether you have any suggestions for any of the prompts that were on the bingo board. I'd love to hear them and I'd love to check them out. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and I'll see you next time for a new video. Bye!